outside. Get out. Get outside. Hey everyone and welcome back to Story of Seasons Tree of Towns. I have my shipping destination to West Town. I have some radishes here that I need to ship along with uh, some potatoes and bell flowers. So this should be enough to satisfy the uh, town link requirement because it was locked, if you remember. So I'll keep some of them, but I did ship enough because I think you only had to ship 10. Yeah, ship 10 crops raised in your fields, any kind of crop. So tomorrow, I'm assuming, like once that actually goes through, we should have fulfilled that requirement. So today is the Goddess Festival. So we need to make sure that we talk to Megan so that we can participate. Uh, I don't... Shouldn't that have counted? Okay. Why did that not count? <laughs> did I ship it too late? Maybe that's why. Maybe it won't be, uh... Maybe it won't count as shipped until tomorrow, because I think I put it in after uh, the time when it gets collected, so. All right, guys, so it's 10 o'clock, so we're gonna talk to Megan here. And yes, we want to participate. I don't really know if we have to do anything, but uh, yeah. Is everyone here? Then let's begin the Goddess Festival. I love how we don't invite anybody from the other town. We'll kick things off by taking a bite out of the giant pizza made just for today's occasion. Heck yes. This pizza is an offering to the goddess. It's our way of expressing gratitude for last year's bountiful harvest as well as showing our hopes for this year's fortune. We've packed the pizza with local specialties. By the way, I wanted to give a shout out to our very own Frank, current president of the World Love for Pizza Association. <sighs> he made sure everything about the pizza from the balance of the flour to the actual ingredients was up to the highest possible standards. Alright everyone, let's eat while it's still piping hot. Yeah, get out of the way. I'll shove people out of the way to get to that pizza. I guess Lisette and I are going to eat together. Gosh, it's so much fun getting to spend the festival with you, Kita. Oh, Kita, there's sauce around your mouth. What, there's some on me too? We got matching stains, proof we're a perfect fit. Would you like to have a pizza party in my house sometime? I get the feeling it'd be a blast making, eat making and eating pizza with you. On to the main event, the dance. Here, we show the goddess our dance so that she may bask in our friendship. She's not even here. But the only way for that to happen is if we also enjoy the dance ourselves. Everyone, dance your butts off so we can receive the goddess's blessing. Is this, like, time to dance? It looks like you can choose who you want to dance with. Oh. Wow, so like they'll, oh my god, Frank. Uh, so they'll like accept no matter what? Is that how that works? I guess we'll dance with Ford then. Yes. You're quite the strange one for inquiring about a dance. But no, I don't mind. I respectfully accept your offer. However, you'll have to forgive my clumsiness. If you are fine with that, then I'll be happy to accompany you on the dance floor. Mm. 
Yeah, I got him to a Purple Heart, so he is actually the highest out of any of the Bachelors. Wayne and Ludus are still at White Flowers, so... I didn't know if they could reject you or not, or if they would, like, have to accept. Also, why is Brad over there dancing with Lisette and Carrie dancing with Frank? When they're married. <laughs> It's about time for the Goddess Festival to come to an end. Everyone, did you have a good time? Back to normal tomorrow, but don't forget the gratitude you have for our goddess. Oh, and we'll be handing out some leftover pizza as a gift. Feel free to take some home. Hot dog, I'll take all of it. Please wait. Today was wonderful. I was truly moved by all of this. Since I can't go around thanking everyone, I thought I'd at least tell you. Thank you so much. By the way, I heard you helped out with the fundraising. Everyone said you did at least. The townsfolk are really rallying around you. I'm so happy for you. I can't wait till the next Goddess Festival, and I'm sure you feel the same way. Yeah, I want more pizza. Goddess Festival was a blast. I should participate again next year. Oh, so we're still... Okay, we're still here. We can talk to everyone. Oh, I can't, um... You can't use left bumper. You have to actually... Like, press A and talk to people. So, I wonder if there are any festivals that are competing, like where they have, like where Lulu Coco would have a festival the same day as West Town, so you have to choose between them. Don't know. And Desi's just like there, like watching everyone. <gasps> okay, so the pizza is still there. Just pointing that out. <gasps> Wayne, is that a purple heart now? Oh, that's awesome. Probably from doing the festival, I think. Because he wasn't... He wasn't earlier. This was your first time in the Goddess Festival, right? You sure loved scarving down that pizza, don't you? Frank really went above and beyond right there. Hey, I love pizza, okay? Oh, Brad, you're so cute. Why must you be married? Oh god, Hector. Hector! That hair! Adequately done. Well, did you get anything out of dancing with me? You had fun. That's just as well. I don't usually have the chance to dance with the opposite sex. Because you're too busy dancing with Wayne. I would feel remiss if you didn't enjoy yourself. Well, I guess we can leave now. Because we talked to everyone. Oh, okay. So it doesn't take up the entire day, which is nice. In case you still have stuff to do. I don't really. I did want to check out... Uh, in here there's a book. In your farm report. If you go down to resident info, you can see... Hearts that you have with people. And I somehow have hearts with Lisette and Carrie, which... Is kind of strange because I don't... Like, I haven't given them any gifts. But it could just be from maybe doing part-time jobs in the festival and stuff, so... You do get friendship points when you do jobs for people. It's not a lot, but it's still, you know, it's still something. So... Alright, so let's see. Wayne has a heart, Ford has a heart and a half. Lisette has half a heart, Carrie has half a heart. Frank and Miranda have half a heart. So does Desi and Ludus. And that's it. Alright. 
Well, seems like we're making the most progress with Ford, but we need to see all the events because the flower colors, I think there are more of them. So it's like purple, light blue, dark blue, light green. Like there's, it seems like there are more heart colors or flower colors to go through and you can see up to light green and then I think you have to like actually choose someone as your boyfriend or whatever so in order to see the other events so we'll be trying to get everyone to light green so that we can see all of the events leading up to that before I pick someone to pursue okay so it says earned West Town D rank ribbon. So. Okay, that's like a lot of notifications at once. Alright, so. We are at a D rank with West Town, which is pretty great. Lou Coco. <laughs> We're not doing uh, too great with them just yet, but. It'll take a little bit of time. Oh, something, something, something. New, new stuff like everywhere wow wow that's like new recipes okay so we basically need to check out everything to see uh what new stuff is available i only have like one little group of radishes here that i have left because there's i i can't plant anything this late in the month or season so have to wait till summer. Be able to plant a whole bunch of new stuff. I should probably... I could probably go mining today. Actually. Alright. Come on, cow. Get outside. Get out. Get outside. Cow. I kind of like going to Lulu Coco first in the day because their shops are open really early and then they have that period in the middle of the day where they're all closed and that's kind of usually when I'm in West Town and then if I have to come back to Lulu Coco it's fine because they open back up in the evening. So that's kind of what I've been what I've been trying to do. So Pol Pol now has cassava seeds and plumeria seeds which grow in the summer so we don't need them right now although I guess I could get some just preemptively and then I'll be ready on the first of summer so are you I don't think the fruit stand was selling anything new but I'll check anyway nope just bananas just bananas Uh, I don't think she was either. Okay. So... Oh, there's Aluka. I want to give her a flower. Um, there it is. This one's her favorite. So you get, I think, 500 friendship points when you give that one to her. So, And they grow right here. Uh, Silica, I haven't really found anything to give her that she really likes, but she's liked everything that I've given her. It's just not been like one of her favorite things. So. Alright, let's check out. I'm pretty sure one of these had new stuff. Maybe it was Ludus's shop, actually. Maybe Farm Circle. New Farm Circles. Possibly. Hello, Saluka. Uh, what do I want to give you? I keep trying different things to see if any of them she really likes. Nope. Just sort of an average response. Alright, do I have any... Yeah, I have some maple branches. When I can't get blue quills, I give him maple branches because he really seems to like them, so... No, you're not at purple yet. <laughs> Try so hard, man. Alright. What new stuff do you have, Ludus? Yep, he got some new farm circles. 
Western water source. Oh, geez. That looks like it's gonna fall apart. <laughs> I don't think I want that. Oh, textile mill. Wow. Barrels, brick pile. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that on my farm. Cactus garden. I would put that on my farm. A western sign, an old tool shed. Does that replace the happy work time bench? Or the fun work time bench, whatever it's called. Alright, well, we don't need any of that right now. We really should be focusing on possibly another barn, maybe. Or another coop or pet house. I don't... I would rather... Ooh. Oh, I need regular lumber for that. I was gonna say, I thought I had some small lumber. Okay, so we can actually build that maybe somewhat soon. I really just want to focus on my tools first because that's gonna make everything easier. So, let's see. Oh wow, I can change its color if I want to. Okay. Yeah, we just don't have enough materials. Of course not. Well, I'm gonna go mining today, so it's not a big deal. Hopefully we'll get some of the ones that we need, because I would really like to increase the lightness of the hammer and the watering can so that it doesn't use so much stamina, because it uses a lot. <laughs> so, all right, well, before the store is open, I'm gonna mine a little bit. Uh, now that I've upgraded my hammer's effectiveness once, I can mine at one of the other spots, which I will show you in a minute. Ooh, copper. Copper, we need that copper. Ooh, black rock, we need that too. I think I got two of them, actually. All right. So... This is the new spot that we can mine at since we have the effectiveness raised once. We can't at the other one yet, but hopefully soon. Okay. Rock, rock, emerald. You get more gems out of this one. I've noticed, like, I've gotten amethyst and emerald and stuff like that. I'm not sure if this... Maybe I'll eat some potato bread just to be on the safe side here. All right. I should be okay now. Oh, come on. I was in the middle of mining. <laughs> Ugh, okay. So I gotta get my hammer back out. Okay. Oh, Peridot! <laughs> Claude's! Oh, my bag is full? Well, that's annoying. Hmm. Well, I can fix that. Oh, what? Something's happening. The language of flowers? Welcome! Sorry about that. I was so into the conversation, it took me a second to notice you were there. What were we talking about? Lisette was teaching us about the language of flowers. Do you know anything about that? No. <laughs> That's alright, neither do we. But the more Lisette teaches us about it, the more interesting it becomes. You're probably growing some flowers at the farm, right? Why don't you learn a little while you're here? I'm still learning myself, so I can't teach you much, but I'd be more than happy to tell you what I do know. Hey, did you know there's a flower that means love? It's the, uh, which one was it again? Do you mean the one we were talking about before? The red rose? Yeah, yeah, that one. Oh, you just taught me about it and I already forgot. 
Trying to remember everything in one go is really hard, so I wouldn't fret about it. The red rose is symbolic for affection, but even the same flower can have a different meaning if the color or shape is different. Not to mention, the meaning can vary from country to country as well. There's a lot to the language of flowers, and it can get pretty complicated. That's so. Seems learning all the nuances is gonna take a while then. If it's okay with you, Lysia, could you teach us some more about the language of flowers? Of course, I'm really happy that you're all so interested in this. Okay, let's see. Bell flowers are very popular in my shop. Those symbolize gratitude. And then marguerite daisies are associated with love fortune telling. The meaning for that one is pretty much a given. Yeah, marguerites are easy to understand. The red rose meaning affection is also pretty well known, right? Really? I wonder how Colin would react if I gave him one. Probably eat it. You'd think he'd be able to tell how much I love him? Uh, aren't boys usually the ones giving girls the flowers? They don't have to be. You know, it's not all that uncommon for customers to choose flowers based on their meanings. I hope your feelings get through to him, Noel. Yeah, thanks, Lisette. I gotta start saving up some money. Or you could go pick some out of the ground, like I do. Oh gosh, look at the time. Sorry everyone, I have to head back to the shop. Okay, thanks for the lesson, Lisette. Next time you're free, I'd love to hear more about the language of flowers. What a riveting conversation. <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. I was only able to cover a handful of flowers, but I had a wonderful time teaching you all. If you ever find yourself shopping for flowers, it might be fun to try to think about the meanings as you pick them out. I'll see you all later. That girl sure loves her flowers. I'm impressed she found something to be so passionate about at her age. Now I kind of want to put some flowers around the house, pretty up the place, you know. Mama, buy some red roses. I'm going to give them to Colin. Hey now, I said I wanted to put them in the house. What's the point if you take them? I'm not sure if that was Miranda's friend event or if that was Lisette's friend event. One of them. Alright. Let's go ahead and expand the bag. Because that's useful. And, um... So she got new clothing items in. Hmm. Oh, yikes, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Definitely, definitely not. <laughs> the only one that, like, I is passable is this one. Wow. Um. <sighs> Jeez. Okay, tomato seeds and wheat seeds, which are, I'm assuming, summer. Oh, this is year-round? Okay. And this is four days to harvest. Keeps growing on its vines afterwards. Ooh, we should get bit of these and some wheat should probably get some more fertilizer too okay you can expand the bag further okay yeah I'm not, I don't I don't have that kind of money jeez anyway I'm gonna go pick this stuff up now that I have a bigger bag to put it in all right, everyone, well, I think that's going to do for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share support. really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.